Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Samantha. I am a sewist slash quilter. <laughs> um, I love sewing garments and I do an occasional bit of quilting. If that's your bag, make sure you follow me um, and like and subscribe. So today I'm here to give you, it's like a mini fabric haul slash the sewing plans for my next couple of months. <laughs> I don't know, it depends how long it takes me to get through it all. Um, I am in the throes of summer at the moment. I'm just loving it. I've made a couple of dresses recently. Uh, this one that I'm wearing, I showed it you in my last sewing plans video. This is the Patterns Fantastique Valley dress. Um, oh, it was such a nightmare to sew. <laughs> I had to unpick so much, um, but I adore it. It's in like this beautiful, it's, it's a Liberty um, Tanalon, but the colours are just so vibrant. I wasn't sure they would work for me because they're quite neon and I'm not usually a neon um, person, but I think when I've got it on from a distance, I really love it. Um, I think when I'm up close and I'm like looking at it like this, I'm like, oh, they're a bit bright, but I adore it and I think it's going to grow on me more and more. Because it was such so horrible to make, <laughs> I had to unpick so much. It's nothing to do with the pattern, it was all me. Kept catching seams and doing all sorts. So, because I had to do my unpicks, so much unpicking and I cut a massive hole in the skirt by accident so I had to shorten the skirt and add a ruffle. I was just, by the end of it, I was like, oh, just fit, I can't, I just need to get this finished. It went in the naughty corner like three times. But I'm very happy with it now. Um, wearing it today and I'm going out for a walk later so that'll be nice. So let's get started on the fabric haul slash sewing plans for the next couple of months. First fabric is this. Um, it's from Catkin and Scraps I think it's called. I'll link it below. Um, and it's a Cloud9 cotton but it's really sheer, it's not really, it's not totally opaque but it is, if I hold it up like that, I'm sure you can see, you can see my hands through it. Um, I've only got a metre and a half actually, I wish I'd got two, but I thought this would be perfect for a little blousy summer top. Um, there's a new pattern by by Hen London, which is, I think it's called the Lorraine. Um, yeah, because she's named after Sophia Loren. Um, and it's like a gathered across here with a little tie and it's just loose, um, like a loose fit and really loose sleeves. So that's what that's going to become. I'm hoping it's a quick and easy pattern to sew up, but I think that's going to be beautiful as that style of like, because it's quite sheer, um, if you make something that's got quite a lot of gathers and a lot of fabric, it doesn't, it's not as see-through. So that's what that's going to be. Second fabric. If you've seen my Me Made May videos, after reviewing like all of the month, um, one of the things I picked up that I needed was more pyjamas. So I have the Carolyn pyjamas by Closet Core Patterns. <laughs> Getting all these words out today is so difficult. But the, I'm just outside the, the sizing for this pattern now and it's only available in their standard sizing and they haven't done it in the curvy, curvy sizing yet. So rather than that pattern I've, and grading it up and having a nightmare, I've purchased the Spinny Flex pyjama pattern by Moona and Broad. Um, this is it here. So it's just a standard woven um, pattern, woven style pyjama pattern. Um, and I'm gonna do the first one in this. And this is just a cotton gingham from Sew Me Sunshine. It's beautiful quality, but this will be like the wearable toil version. I've got some nice yellow buttons to go with it as well. So that will be my first pair, but what I think I do is going to do is crop the legs a bit, crop the sleeves and add a little ruffle on the sleeves and the, sh and the shirts, on the legs cuffs and on the sleeve cuffs, um, just to give them that little bit of extra bouginess for my um, pyjama in. And then I'm going to use these two fabrics as well. These were sent to me as a PR product from 
rooted.com I'll put pop a link as well and these are 100% organic cotton they're so beautiful um I can't it's it's a really lovely weight like um I know sometimes you get cottons and they can be a bit heavier um but these are really crisp and lovely so they sent me two of theirs fabric so there's this one with the little flowers and then this one which is like a larger print um, with the same colours and it's got little bunnies on so I thought this could be a pair of pyjamas as well and I'm going to try and do bodice and in this um, and the trousers in this and then do all the extra bits like the cuffs, the sleeves, waistband all in the lighter one um, and again I've got some little cute daisy buttons to go with these as well and I think they'll be another set of perfect summery um, cute pyjamas to wear when I'm lounging around. Knit fabric is this. Um, on the theme of pyjamas, it's not going to be pyjamas, this is going to be a dressing gown. So this is a linen um, and I tie dyed it and it's gone this like pinky blue shade, almost a purple but um, more blue with these pink um, like lighter bits through it um, I think it's beautiful and it's just going to be like a lovely l dressing gown I'm going to use the Helen's Closet dressing gown pattern um, I think that's going to be perfect for this and I love that pattern because the ties are actually sewn in um, to the dressing gown and I hate dressing gowns when you lose the tie or it comes off or it's all just tucked into one loop so I'm using that pattern um, and it's got pockets and it'll just be a nice um, dressing gown pattern. Okay, the next couple of ones of dresses. You can never have enough dresses. So, so you've seen this linen before. Um, this is going to be another valley dress. Um, it's the linen actually. The stripes are horizontal, but I'm going to cut it so that they're vertical. Um, and then have a little bit of play with the front maybe, cut them on the bias, but yes. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the skirt yet. I've made the one that I'm wearing with a ruffle around the bottom. Uh, I'll show you a picture here rather than standing up. Um, um, and the original hem, it has got a really lovely hem on the original one, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with the original hem or put another ruffle on, but I am gonna do the lower front because I want this to be more of a like a beachy cover-up type dress. Um, and I can always wear a t-shirt underneath if I feel exposed or, exposed or a vest. Um, so yeah, it's going to have the lower um, detail at the front, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the hem. It'll have the same sleeves because I'm just i in love with these sleeves. But with that one, and another dress, <laughs> and another dress in this. This is, I'm not sure what pattern I'm going to use. I'm, I was looking at the Fibre Mood Mindy, but I might um, hack it up a little bit or draft something myself um but i've got this um from stuff and still and it's like a sea sucker um cotton but look at the colors they're so me <laughs> and i've seen like this style of fabric quite a few places online and i think it'll be perfect like a lovely loose dress um i maybe like something with big sleeves again but a square neckline not the tamsin because i've just made it something that comes over a little bit more um and then it's just loose from there i'm not as i said i looked at the fiber move mindy so that's an option or i might just draft something myself we shall see final fabric i am obsessed with dungarees i <laughs> i love them so so much i love wearing them um, and I've made quite a few pairs of yantas recently and I've had a look for some other patterns and the, the next pattern I'm going to make in dungarees is the Merchant and Mills Harley. So I've cut them out in a corduroy and I'm going to make them up and make them as like a wearable tile. And once they're done and I'm happy with the fit, I am making another pair of dungarees in the most spectacular denim I have ever seen. Look at it! Um, it's on the coat hanger because I store some fabrics on coat hangers on a rack in my sewing room. I might have to do a sewing room tour at some point. I'm sure I'll just show you the rack. Um, but look at this denim. This is Liberty Denim. 
I know, I never knew they did denim. I don't know if it's a new substrate that they're trying, but look, it's it's just incredible. Um, I can't lie, I spent a lot of money on this, but a pair of dungarees in this. <gasps> I'm just obsessed and it's gonna go with, although it's quite, um, although it's floral, I just know it's gonna go with so much in my wardrobe and I keep looking at things thinking, <gasps> That's going to go with my floral dungarees. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I just want to hug it. But I also don't want to rush into making the dungarees in this because I'm not sure on the fit. So I'm going to use, I have graded up the pattern um, and I made it in like a really loose cotton for the toil and it's fine, but I want to double check it in the corduroy. And I also know it's quite a lengthy make. So I'm putting it off a little bit because I've had quite a few big makes recently that just took a lot of effort. <laughs> so I'm going to do, sew them up, um, do like a long sew with the corduroy ones, see how the fit is and then make them in this. Oh, but even, I think, I know it's quite a summery fabric, but even in the winter it's just going to be great, isn't it? With a little jumper underneath. Oh, I'm just so excited for them. Mm. So that's all my fabrics and my plans for the next couple of months. Um, my plans are always very fluid and although I've picked out all these makes that I want to make, I might change them, I might sort one pair of pyjamas, switch over to something else and just get lost in my whole plans but hopefully that'll be the what I sew up. I'm going to come back to you in four weeks and I'm going to show you what I've made. <laughs> I promise. Um, and I'm going to do some other videos in between, some more sewing tutorials. Um, I've got a collar, a scalloped collar one coming very soon. So if you want to see all those, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned. I also share lots on Instagram, so if you want to keep more up to date with me, follow me on there too. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.